Well, they've had a wonderful season. Um, I think their record stands, you know, a testament to the way they've played and the way they performed. And um, you know, the, he's done a wonderful job there. Um, and it's going to be a tough game for us. We know it's going to be tough. They've got all the tools. You know, they're, they're physically strong enough. Um, they've got some good footballers. They've got good pace. And you can see why they're, you know, they're up in the in, in the top five, six clubs you know, in the Premiership this year. How do you assess the challenge and where are they particularly dangerous? No, I think they've got threats down the side, they've got good pace down the side. Obviously, the lad up front has done exceptionally well. Um, Snydlin, Wanyama are, are, are very, very good players. Ward Prowess, Davis. They, they've, got, they've got a good team. They've got a top Premier League club, you know, team and, and, and they've proved it this year. Tony, how do you assess the job that Ronald Koeman has done? You touched upon it, but when well, you... they, they've lost. They, they lost a lot of players, and a lot of players worried about him. And and you know, again, I think it's testament to their recruitment department. You know, not only have they brought some wonderful talent through themselves, but they all, they've also recruited recruited well. So, you know, it uh, like I say, it's testament to the to them as a football club. Recruitment is such an important part of any football club, and uh, they've certainly come through with flying colours. When you consider that it's his first season in this country as a manager stroke coach he joined the club at a time when there was turmoil behind the scenes they were losing so many significant players does that make his achievement all the more remarkable well again you know until until i speak to him afterwards you know it was it was it him who brought the players in or was it the club's recruitment department who brought the players in because it's all about recruiting good players and then putting it together i think the big thing with him is that um you know not not knowing him that well is that the team has an identity you know, it has, it has a real good identity about it, and um, you know, I always like that from managers. Tony, as someone who's gone course and distance in the Premier League many times, how many points do you think at this moment in time will be required to complete your race on Detra, which is to keep West Bromwich Albion safe? As many points as it takes to get to that what is it, 17th position, it's 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 very very important that you know you focus on every game. I don't think it's about a, to a, a points tally at the moment. You just got to focus on the game ahead, and our game is Southampton, and everything now from now until that game is finished will be focused on that. And irrespective of what other clubs are doing, what other teams are doing, we have to try and get as many wins as we can. Given that a lot of people talk about 38-40, whether that might be a little bit of high this season, who knows? But you've got three games coming up. You've got Southampton, Aston Villa, and Stoke, all in the league. Nine points, which. It sounds easy, but when you add it to the current 27 that you have, well, you, you, yeah, you've you've just talked about Samton being one of the top teams, so it's not going to be easy, is it? Forget the other two; we, we we're not even concentrating on those two teams yet. Talk about your four clean sheets that you've had so far, Tony, in your six games. You must be thrilled with that. Yeah, but it's the t as you've just said, as a team, you know, they they've it's um, you know, but, but Ben will most probably get credit, and, and people will talk about Ben and the clean sheets, but it's it's if you speak to him. It's not just Ben in the back four; it's the the midfield players and the forwards in front of them. They've they've all worked tremendously hard to to make us very very solid when we haven't got the ball. And you know, the last couple of home games we've played really well going forward as well. We've looked a threat. So you know, we, if if we can do that again to, on Saturday, we'll give Southampton a game. Now we don't get to see on the training ground or in the dressing room, but people obviously talk about the Tony Pulis effect. Can you give us an insight? into what it is you do. What is it you've changed since joining six strokes seven games ago, which has seen this incredible turnaround? Well, look, you come and see me at the end of the season when we've stayed up, hopefully, and I'll talk about it. But we haven't. We're still miles away from staying up. We're still in a dogfight with every other club, you know, in the bottom eight, nine teams in the Premiership. So until that happens, you know, I certainly won't be talking myself up or talking the team up or talking anything at this football club up. Tony, you don't talk yourself up, but other people do, and people talk about this foolish effect. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't affect what other people say. Um, and like I say, that that's you know, that's got nothing to do with me, and I don't want to talk about it. Can it, from a player's perspective, be slightly? Could it, could it almost create a sense of? Well, you better ask the players. No good asking me. Let me talk about what you've done so far in terms of achieving a place in the quarter-final of the FA Cup and this wonderful run. Only one forget, for, yeah, forget about the FA Cup. The only game and the only thing I want to talk about is Southampton. And like I say, that that is so, you know, fo I'm so focused on that game. The players will be focused on that game. You know, we, we realise and understand how hard that game is going to be and we really, really want to concentrate on that. Just finally, Tony, for me, um, in terms of the impact you have, and I know you only look one game further at a time, 
Um, but are you surprised at the immediate impact that you have had? Did you expect it to be... Come and see me at the end of the season. <laughs> and I don't know how many times I've got to repeat it, but come and see me at the end of the season. The season, you know, we've still got 12 games to go and there's eight, nine clubs still fighting to stay in the Premiership. You know, I hope and pray to God that we are one of those teams that stay up, but we're still in the dogfight, and and I won't be saying anything until we've um, we've actually achieved, um, you know, what would be a you know, great success for us. No problems. Uh, yeah, we got a little knock with Morrison and Sido, so we won't be sure on them until last minute. Um, the rest of them, uh, okay, we're hoping Victor might you know might be able to train either today or tomorrow. So that'll bring another player and an, an important player for us back into the squad. The knocks you're talking about, what are they? They kick you obviously, I don't know. Yeah, they, I, um, Berrino got a, a kick, I think, catamold in the first first half, um, which he's struggling with. Um, and James felt his hamstring a little bit, so we're going to have to be careful with James. That's a new one that will go in the deck dictionary, I think, being catamold. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, it won't be a new one. There's, there's lots, <laughs> lots who have had that. Um, Chris Brunt will be slotting in at left back. How impressed are you that the Wayne's just kind of gone on with it and into a new position for him? No, he's 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 been very good, and um, he's a wonderful lad. He's great. I, you know, I like him around the place. He's a bit doer um, in some respects, but he's a wonderful lad, and he's a he's a top player. He's got a great left foot, um, and he's uh, he's done exceptionally well there. And he'll have a test on Saturday. Because the two wide players that, that Ronald decides to go with, whichever two he goes with, will certainly test our fullbacks. Last time I came here, I asked you about a player. You said, well, he's not playing anyway. This week I'm interviewing um, Stefan Sessignon. I'm guessing he's going to be in the squad. But what, what can he bring to you? Now, Sess is, is a type of player that you know every club needs, whether you're, you're starting with him or bringing him off the bench. He can do, he can do things that um, can win games and, and you know... He's not played on a regular basis as much since I've come in. You know, we've chopped and changed to move things around, but you know, he uh, he's got the talent to change games, and you always need that. And finally, for me, I know that you're not looking beyond this weekend. But well, don't ask me the question then. But this week, this whole week, it, it could be a defining week in the in the, in the season, really. Kind of a good week. Exactly. <laughs> you just said you're not going to. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a big week, isn't it? Big Saturday. Big Saturday. Thank you, Tony. No problems. Starting with Phil from PA. Um, Victor going back, obviously, at the time, you've got your two forwards um, playing so well. Is it important to bring them back not only to... Well, we only got three three forwards in the club, so, you know, it's important that the three of them are fit and, and you know, there'll they'll come a time where one of them will need a rest um, from now until the end of the season. So it's nice to have the option. Hopefully, we, we keep Victor and the other two fit now until the end of the season. And if we do that, then um, you know, fingers crossed, you know, they, they, they'll get us the goals that we need. Did you come in and identify quite early on that Sido and Brown could, could team up, or you, even you been surprised that? Could you, no, I think, I've, as I've said, I think um, with Sido, you know, Sido's always, even from outside the football club, has, has shown he's got wonderful talent. The important thing for Sido is to concentrate on his football and, and forget about all the stuff that surrounds it. Brownie has since he scored a goal has, has looked a different player and that's been good he, as I've said he's always been a good lad since I've come in yeah. so a wonderful attitude and, and a, a nice lad round the place so scoring the goals has, has lifted that weight off him and he, you know he's, he's playing with a lot more freedom now and Victor gives us that little bit more you know in, in respect of you know he's, he's a big physical presence who um, you know it, it can be a good foil for either either one of them